identify gamers today we are going to finish up the forest silage event and then we're going to take a look at some more koa this time we're going to be watching the southeast asia qualifiers and i've already taken a look at some of the uh, sea qualifiers but we're going to watch uh, some more of it obviously um you know there's there's multiple days and multiple sets for each thing but uh you know, I'm, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited to watch more Koa. This is just like a whole Koa kind of week, dude. Let's put Koa aside for now. Now we have the uh, in check-in here. We're gonna be able to get our perfumer skin, Lily of the Valley. Oh, that's fitting. She actually was talking about uh, Lily of the Valley and her little uh, dialogue there. So there we go. We got perfumer's B tier. Uh, she's not free today, so I won't be able to play uh, with this skin. But next time uh, I get to play perfumer, maybe on stream or something, I'll be sure to use this skin because it is pretty cool. Now let's see what else we have for today. Yep, there we, oh. When people leave, it's not only a farewell, but also the end of a series of memories. Let us remember everything and look forward to the future of the forest. I see. Then in preparation, yeah, we've we already done all these things, so we don't have to worry about that. Uh, perfume notes, we have, uh, oh yeah, the Sears little thingy. Uh, let me accept the thing that you got. Uh, I do have the stupid jar, here you go. Uh, when I was a child, there were tall oak trees in the forest. I once picked up an owl under the oak tree with ice-cold snowflakes on its feathers and the scent of oak, and then I just had it take hits for me. <laughs> People from my tribe said we were all born inside trees, but from now on, no. At least, I can still remember the scent of the, uh, these trees. Wait, what, what about being born inside trees? That's kind of crazy. Uh, all right, there we go. Now we just have a uh, perfume mix everything together and we should be good to go. We got like the whole gang here, dude. This is awesome. All right, you're up, Vera. Today is Ashen Day. We should gather under the tree, play music and sing. This was supposed to be a beautiful celebration, but after today, we're bidding each other farewell. Mm, we don't know when we'll see each other again. Perhaps not every story has a happy ending, but isn't it still worth celebrating? We have gathered here again. We also get to uh, get the chance to tell this story three years from now so that more of our friends will remember this. Uh, this reminds me of a nursery rhyme from our tribe. In a foreign land across the deep blue sea, a place beckons where ships wait in glee. A sapphire lake in my hometown's embrace with ash trees in the forest, a tranquil space. As the years pass uh, by and weather takes its toll, I still sing the praises of this land, my soul. For in the arms of the time, memories are woven, forever unbroken. Oh, right. This is the last ingredient I found. Lily of the Valley. Uh, call it... Call it all seven ingredients to, uh, to mix the final perfume. All right, there we go. We got the Lily of the Valley from Vera. Now we can uh, shove them all together for the perfume. Then we have all the ingredients. Let's try to mix the ultimate perfume. Alrighty. Oh, stop. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Gaming. Woo. What's this? Oh, okay. Pour in the lily of the valley. Shake it all up. Pour it into the jar. And there we go. The ultimate perfume. Wait, what? What is this? Oh, wind. Okay, so yeah, that's right. I forgot. Um, each perfume is like slightly different. Uh, wind of freedom. Server ratio 8.3. Your fragrance sings an unfinished hymn to the spirit of dreams and freedom. The compelling allure of vanilla and inv the invigorating scent of cedar intertwine, much like your optimism and creativity, creating a tale of infinite opportunities and an ardent quest for novelty. The serene presence of moss, akin to the profoundness of your heart, serves as a foundation for your unpredictable yet enthralling adventures. Your every breath holds the power of transformative winds, akin to a butterfly and Curling its wings, carrying hope and inspiration toward the heavens. I see. So this must be the amount of like the, the percent of people who like got these things. Okay, that's kind of cool. That's cool. Oh, we got friends perfumes as well. Green perfume. Um. Okay. Oh, there's blue perfume, and then there's yellow perfume, pur purple perfume. Mine is just, is mine green? I guess mine would be green then. Interesting. Yeah, okay then. Huh. Select accessory, I guess we just get to... Oh. Oh, so I can, okay. Wait, so you can choose which one you want? That's cool. Well, I think I'm just gonna 
I'm gonna claim the one that I got, yeah. Huh. There we go. We got our little perfume. Yeah, I'm not gonna pick one that I didn't, you know, go for. Green, I, I like the color green as well, so that that's fitting. Alright, there we go. We got ourselves the, uh, the green perfume. Awesome. Uh, I don't know what this is all about. Um... Oh, I see. Now I see. Uh, sure. I guess I'll just take a picture of that for, uh, for preservation's sake, I suppose. Alright, and I think we're good there. Uh, this is the end of the story. Do you want to play this song again? The song that belongs to Ashen Day. Uh, Wind Frolic. Oh, what? Oh my gosh, this is so cute! Bro, this is so cute! What the heck? Look at the little owl singing, Merc on the flute. Oh my gosh. And Vera doesn't have an instrument, so she just did- That's- Oh my gosh, that's adorable. This is actually the cutest thing I think I've ever seen in my entire life. This is so adorable. Bro, Antonio! Oh my gosh. I didn't think we'd get like a cute little dance party! Aww. So is this what- Do they just do this for the rest of uh... I don't know how long- I don't know how long this goes, but it's so cute! What is this, dude? I don't want to like click and interrupt it in case there's like there's more to it. But what we can we can sit here and watch this for a second. You can go ahead and skip ahead if you feel like it. This is cute though, dude. How adorable! How actually adorable! The music is just really beautiful in general as well. I didn't think we'd get a dance party, bro. <laughs> Where's Wick? Bro, where's where's Wick in all of this? We have we have the owl, but we don't have we don't have Wick? Bruh, you can't do this to me. No Wick? Bruh. Alright, so Oh, I thought that was the end of the song right there. Oh maybe it is right here. Alright. And there we go. I think that okay. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, there we go. Oh, so, okay, okay, so we can watch it anytime we want. That's, that's so cute, bro. That's actually so cute. What the heck? Alright, we accept this, and that's it. That's, that's the end of this, uh, that's the end of the event. We got the perfume. Um, yeah, we already saw that. Yeah, that's everything. We still have our little plant that we have to water, but, um, I'm pretty sure that's, like, you just kind of do that on your own time. I don't think it's, like, specific for the event. I hope, at least, because I think my plant is pretty far behind. But, yeah, that that's the event. There we go. Tis the event. All right, well, with that said, everybody, let's jump into the Koa matches now. All right, here we go. Onward to the first match. We've got Opera Singer going up against Mercenary, Patient, Acrobat, and Gardener. Very standard opera comp here. Uh, this is ST versus GH. This is the very first set of day one of SEA qualifiers. They opted to ban Antiquarian, Officer, Aeroplanist, and Seer. Pretty standard bans, and we're going on Moonlit River Park. As for spawns, we see pretty standard stuff. Patient at fourth, Acrobat at first, Merc at uh, Cypher Bridge, and Gardener in the uh, two-star area. Pretty standard stuff. We actually have both Patient and Acro, two characters known for being very good on this map. I'm honestly curious to see how this is going to go. We actually see that Patient is rocking the uh, the Koa skin, which is pretty cool. You'll love to see the Koa skin. Uh, the, one, the one Koa skin that I don't have, actually, uh, Koa 7 skin, is the uh, the Patient. Did Opera? Oh, Opera already messed up her dash, huh? Oh, never mind. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. We got teleports. We got teleports back. It's fine. Actually, wait. Oh, did he get his hook kit? Oh, he got his hook canceled right there. That sucks. He's actually just dead. He's actually just dead, I'm pretty sure. Oh, no, he's fine. He's fine. Oh. Oh, my gosh, that hit. That's such a fast down. That is an incredibly fast down. Less than 60 seconds. No blink was forced out. We do see trump card detention and blink uh, from the opera singer. We've got um, Tide, Nidra Reflex on Gardner. Nidra Reflex borrowed time on Patient. Mercenary has borrowed time tied, and then Acrobat has Nidra Reflex tied. So only two borrowed times on the team and three tied turners. So they might be a little uh, a little more scared than uh, 
than usual since the, compared to some other teams. Some teams we you know, will see full borrowed time, maybe only one person without it. But this team we see two people without it and three tie turners. They want to waste as much time as possible with tie turner uh, because Opera is just absolutely so broken. And uh, after witnessing um, Ivy's latest gameplay in the uh, Japan test servers, uh, I'm gonna assume the gameplay loop against Ivy is going to be the exact same thing, uh, considering she's so broken. And the, the tide cheese is kind of what we need right now. Um, we're, mo we're mostly, we're most. Oh, hold on, wait a minute. Okay, I thought he was about to. I thought he was about to actually rebound that. He still has a hook, so they, they can waste another tide turn. And he he could potentially do some sort of rebound. Yeah, they did get the blink out, so that's at least something. The, the blink is now no longer a factor uh, on this opera singer. Two ciphers are now done. We see that somebody is coming in the area. Um, luckily, the one person who they wanted to have take the chase is the one without tie turn, that of course being the patient. Um, Gardner is actually not going to get her bubble, but she does have it primed, so she will be able to uh, guarantee get this rescue no matter what, as long as she primes that bubble, which indeed she does right here. That's why Gardner is actually good, because if it was if this was Doctor, she'd not be able to do that. Uh, actually opting to try and hit the... That's weird. I actually don't know why she decides to do that. I don't know. I don't know what that's all about. Um, anyway, we do see hook has been used. Now the only question is, can uh, can this patient buy more time? Oh, he might be dead. Now she goes around. Okay, okay. Oh, he actually's buying more time than Tide Turner. Okay, this is good. If you can buy more time than the Tide Turner waste, that's good. He is gonna go down right here, surely. Like this is just he just loops this window over and over again until he dies. Yep, there it is. But he bought like an extra ten seconds uh, past that Tide Turner. And we do see one more Tide is available on Acrobat. So whoever takes the next chase, uh, ideally probably the Gardener or something, uh, we, can, we can see another uh, set of Tide Turner being used. Although that would leave the Merc to be the Decoder, but we do need to see that Tide Turner be used. Uh, Patient does go down, and they are actually a whole Cypher behind. Yeah, that, that first Kite was not great. Usually, usually when you play Patient, you want to at least get like every Cypher up to like 80 or something. But right now, that's, uh, that's going to be a lot harder. Um, to get and we do see XR decoding is gonna uh, come into play here which is gonna be nice but Merc only has one elbow pad he's gonna have to use it very wisely here kind of transitions into opera singer there is the uh the elbow pad being used buys him you know get just lets them transition to a better area and wow they are just failing these pallet mine games they they just can't get these pallet mine games for the life of them mercenary is gonna go down i i think this might be forest gate i really do think this might be forest gate um yeah they, the acrobat did heal up the gardener so the, on the only chance that we have is that last tide turner but even then they're a whole cypher behind so they're gonna have to finish that that cypher at 71 and then even then once that once they get that last cypher going opera can just teleport to it yeah um she teleports back i don't even know where acrobat is oh here here he is he's on his way he's on his way all right we are gonna see the uh yeah he needs he needs he, he has to does he oh she's working on the she's not even working at the cypher 71 oh my gosh yeah opera opera could honestly like yeah i don't know man I, I don't know what she does here. Uh, Acrobat does take the hit, but there is another tie turner. There is the firebomb as well. Uh, she actually opts just... Oh, it's going to be a double down. Uh, maybe that wasn't the best thing for the Acrobat to do. Maybe he just got as much distance as possible instead of firebombing. It does it does help the mercenary, but she's going to be on to the mercenary because she knows the Acrobat's going to fall. Um, yeah, this is this is not great. Mercenary has no elbow pads. If he could at least get on the coaster, that'd be something. But, like, he has nothing to... And she just blink downs. Her trait is come is already back up. She just blink downs for the double down. She can chair acrobat, then she chair. Oh, she doesn't even have to chair um, mercenary. She's gonna opt to chair acrobat. Um, so somehow they're. I don't know how they're gonna do this, but the only way they manage this is if uh, if Garner primes the last cipher. And oh wait, what? She's actually really. You're gonna chair mercenary. Um. No, you're not. Okay, I was about to say why. Why? Why was was that was that a bait? Maybe that might have been a bait. Um, Gardner is here. This is just four. This is just four K. Like, how do you, how do you? There's no way. All the powers in the opera singer and Gardner is actually opting to rescue. But even then, she's just gonna get farmed. She's literally just gonna get farmed. She's here to feed tinnitus. The dungeon is here. Oh, she saw a trail. That's it. No, that is GG's. Mercenary can self heal, but he heals slowly. It's not gonna be enough. Like, it's just not gonna be. Oh, he does get up. We see Bubble. Bubble has been primed. You need to get Bubble Body Block. It's the only way. And she gets the Terror Shock. <laughs> oh boy. Gardner uh, cannot make it to the cut. Wait. Is she get she can camp coaster now? Wait, what? Why are we? Uh she didn't have wait, 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 wait. No, he wouldn't he wouldn't have been able to finish that in time. Dang! That would have been close, though. 
It, it's it's the it's the I think the last cipher is on Cipher Bridge right here. Yeah, they, they needed to early transition like that. Cause the thing is, if you if you got greedy and stayed there, well, actually, I don't even know. I feel okay. High key, high key, mercenary. What he should have done there, maybe, is just spam the cipher. Like only only just like decode the cipher. By the time Opera gets there, it's surely gotta be at 90, right? He takes the hit and then he gets the cipher all the way to like. Not, maybe they just both come over to the cipher and rush it. I don't know. I'm not sure. Mercenary is gonna probably just go down here. Um. Yep, he takes the hit, and Gunner uh, touches the Cypher. I feel like, I feel, okay, high key, I think Mercenary should just take in the hit. He didn't buy any time here, and now Gardner's already here. Bubble will not be ready in time. It actually is ready in time, but it doesn't matter because Merc has no self-heal now. Yep, that's it. I, I, honestly, I think the, the better risk was for Mercenary to just rush the Cypher. Opera knew where he was anyway, so, uh, oh. Oh, that was actually good patience from the Gardner. Uh, she is actually opting to heal. Now she finally goes down. Um... But she can't get the heal off in time. It's just not going to happen. Yep, there it is. That's game. That is the game. That is unfortunate. I really think Mercenary should have rushed the Cypher. It would have been at 90. Even if he gets hit, he has the delay damage to decode it a little bit more. And then if he goes down, um, Gunner comes in, bubbles, gets the Cypher, and then just pops it. I don't know. And, 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 if, and if she picks up Mercenary, then it's just GG's anyway. I feel like you had to play the risky play there. Otherwise, it just wasn't happening. Onward to the second half of round one. We are going to see Priestess, Patient, Gardner, and Wildling. Yep, going up against another opera singer. It, it's opera time. You know how it be. Uh, and we are seeing the Embalmer, Officer, um, Aeroplanist, and Merc ban. Interesting stuff. So because they ban First Officer and Mercenary, they're actually opting to use Wildling as their rescue type character, which is pretty funny because uh, Wildling was actually one of the characters that they picked a lot during during the early opera meta and i don't think he's entirely bad against her the only the biggest thing is just that cypher rush does indeed uh struggle and uh the boar isn't like super great at uh getting distance because opera is actually faster than the boar um, but if you run into open areas you can actually uh force her out of the open which would force her to use like abilities or whatnot um and priestess can be some can, can be really good on moonlit for some support we're just gonna have to see like a really solid first kite here i think if they want to pull this off and the spawns are a little different. Patient, obviously, at fourth. Uh, uh, Priestess at Cypher Bridge, wildly in the two-star area. And Gardner, not even at first stop. She's actually uh, in between first stop and God Kite. Interesting stuff. All right, here we go. Um, we do see the Koa Priestess skin is actually coming out. Koa for uh, Priestess skin. And yep, here we go again, dude. I don't know how many times it's been, but I've, I've seen Patient at four stop so many times, dude. So, so many times I've had to see this. It's crazy. Uh, we're actually not seeing him at fourth uh wait is she gonna chase the priestess instead wait they're like all here what the heck okay she breaks a portal there was a nice support portal is she just gonna chase the priestess instead why are you heading away from fourth he already used up a hook as well why are we heading away from four stop you know the place that is like really really good for you i mean i think she i think the pallet was used up there but even then like okay the pallet yeah so she has to go all the way around gonna go for the hook yeah big distance big distance very good drops a pallet yeah th this is a, this is a great kiting uh, loop for patient he's gonna head back to fourth all right if, if he can put her in an animation like a pallet oh he's just gonna go he's gonna go for it he is actually on the other side beautiful work from the patient okay see th this is a, this is a much better kite this is a much better kite the only issue is um the team didn't really find their uh didn't didn't really find okay Palette mind game. No, no palette mind game at all. He just kind of runs past it. He's going to take a hit here. Boom, there we go. But already, this is a better kite. But why is there only one person on a cipher? We do. Oh, wait. Priestess uh, support is here. Are we going to see. Wait, what? The double portal trick. What the heck? No way. That actually bought so much time. That's going to, like, let's get allow him to go all the way. Wait, the, the, the planning? Yo, Priest is, okay, Priest is broken. She, he's, uh, he's gonna head all the way to first, but she can just blink down. She's gonna blink down here, surely. Yeah, it's gonna, it's, it, he know, now, now he knows, now he knows. No, no blink though, no blink. And hold on, wait. Oh, but the teleport back. Was second stop available though? Is it? It's on, it's on. Oh, but she gets on with him. She gets on with him. Oh my gosh, Opera's too fast. That was such a good plan though, dude. Against anybody but Opera, it'd be crazy. Uh, surely he gets off to the right here. No? Gets off to the left, okay. But now she, now he's just dead. Oh, mind game, mind game? He's just mind gaming, he's just mind gaming. That was a good kite. That was a beautiful kite, actually. I thought he was gonna kind of loop forth, but he actually went on like a whole like world round journey. Um, 
Yeah, that was really good. The Priest's support is like actually amazing. And now we see that the long portal is set up. She actually is going to go up to um, break the portal though. Yeah. Priestess goes through. Yep, there we go. Yeah, that makes sense. Because the thing is, you don't, you don't, if you're, if you're, if you're playing <laughs> um, a hunter, you don't want to let your, uh, your chase target go through the long portal and then get healed up. Because you can actually go through it during tide turner. So now since he has died, he's going to go off and die in a corner. Opera is uh, desperate to catch up so she can get some extra hits on him for some extra presence there. And he is going to die, yep, right here. Right here. Farthest away from any chairs possible. Um, there should be one like right here though, right? Yeah, there is one like right there. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we, we did well, we did probably uh, want to uh, avoid the bridge on the chair if there was a chair there. Um, yeah, th this has been good so far. We do see actually triple tide again. Priestess uh, with uh, tide and Garner with uh, tide knee jerk reflex. So only two borrowed times on the team once again. Uh, maybe it would have been better if their their characters like patient should have had like full kite but with like flywheel knee jerk. Um, we do see Bubbles here. Bubble has been uh, popped. There we go. Beautiful stuff. There's another set of Tide Turner, but the last, uh... Huh. Oh, she's gonna break the chair. Wait! Garner breaks the chair at fourth. If he dies in the corner, there's no ch there's no chair for her to go to. And the Wildling is here to... Oh my gosh, this is actually going to be... Oh, they're gonna... They're forcing the... Wait, but there's only one person on the Cypher, though. I thought this would be good, but there's only one person... Only Priestess is decoding. Okay, Wildling is here for support. Yup, yup. 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 Yup, okay, that's that's perfect, that's perfect. Because now the thing is, Wildling can get it. He can get it, he can get it right here, surely. Nope, she's gonna try and force him off Boar. Is it gonna be enough time? Hit. There's one hit on Boar. Garner tries to break it again. <laughs> this stalling, dude, this stalling, but Boar's almost up. They have to heal stall, they have to heal stall. Oh, the pallet slam and the heal slam. Wait, but Wildling has no borrowed. Or no, he does. He does. He does have borrowed. Terror shock, and it's just enough time. The two borrowed characters, and they they make it. They make four person endgame. That's actually insane. Okay, th this this has been some crazy gameplay. He's actually not. She can't even go on. Oh my gosh, she can't even. She can't even go after the pace anymore. Um, the gardener is mostly gonna die here, but this is just her first chair, so it's fine. They can actually three people. They can three person escape. Wait, she has teleport. She does have teleport though. She does actually have trade swap uh, into teleport. That chair is broken, and it's gonna buy even more time for them. Oh my gosh, Gardner! The breaking of the chairs! They're just now opening up the gate though, that's the issue. They are just now opening up the gate. What? That was a misclick, that was a misclick! That actually, okay, that secures it right there. The misclicked blink, oh my gosh, that's so unfortunate. I believe in Koa, that is the second misclick trait that we have seen. That's so unfortunate. He surely wanted to trade swap instant teleport. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. That sucks, dude. Oh my gosh, that actually sucks. Okay, so if they got the teleport there, you saw that Wildling was kind of in middle. He could have gone back for the rescue. She could have she could have made that a tie if the survivors didn't play it correctly. I think that was probably a three-person escape regardless, but... That was unfortunate. I would have at least liked to see her, you know, use the use the trump card. Oh, that sucks. That sucks. All right, here we go. On to round two, first half. We've got Antiquarian, Seer, Aeroplanist, and First Officer. Very solid meta team. They are betting Opera Singer. Thank goodness we don't have to watch Opera Singer. Although I'm not really the biggest fan of watching Disciple either. Um, I put her in the D tier when it comes to uh, fun to watch. We are going to see Priestess, Ento, Toy Merchant, and Mercenary bands. Pretty standard bands on Chinatown, um, at least with three of them. Then Mercenary is obviously... Uh, uh, obviously just a safe rescuer, so we're gonna see Officer at middle, Charles at connected, Seer near the uh, the tunnel, and then Antiquariat near the uh, Umbrella Gate, I think? I think that's what it's called. I guess my biggest question here is who the heck is the uh, the first chase target? We do see the Antiquarian rocking the Koa skin, you love to see it, um, but who does she chase first here? I don't feel like any of these characters are necessarily a good first chase, like Aeroplanus, Kinkite, Officer, does get countered by Anne, but also just has Watch. If she misses, can we like swap to 100 perspective? We've been watching from like this. Here we go. I was about to say, uh, we are actually going to see the officer. It is going to be the officer. Yep. And does counter officer. Um, that's, yep. That sucks. Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah, that, 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 that kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. That was, that hypnosis didn't even, uh, wasn't even in range. Yep. So she actually just kills him right here. She just, she just drops cats, drops cats. And that's it. That's it. 
This this is why Officer is bad against Anne, everybody. This is the exact reason. The cutting was good here, but she and she has no jump. Can he at least force out Blink? He's gonna yeah, she's gonna seal, gonna seal. Oh, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah, he's just dead. Unless Owl, we could see Owl. Boom, beautiful Owl, beautiful Owl, yep, beautiful Owl. Um, yeah, that, that, the officer versus Anne is just not great. He tries to dodge catch, there's the thingy. Doesn't even force out trait, does actually get hit, gonna go down. That's both watches used, and now he is just dead. And they do have Tide Tenor on uh, Charles, he's good, see, actually has full kite build. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's kind of unfortunate. Yeah, Officer versus Disciple is just not the greatest matchup, honestly. Re really bad matchup. Because uh, for those who don't know it, you can see it right there. When the cat is on First Officer, she can just kind of see him. And if she steps into the range of him, he just like, yeah, he, he just gets he just gets hit for free. Um, Officer is typically a very powerful rescuer, but against this character specifically, not super great. And even then, even then, that was almost a three cypher kite. Obviously, part of it was due to the owl. The owl did exist, but no trait has been forced out. So we are going to see they're only tied... Oh, bro. Wait, he can't even rescue now. What? He can't even. That was a, that was a huge mistake. That was a huge mistake from the aeroplanist. He that was a huge. I think he wanted to avoid the hit, but by getting hit, his like jetpack interrupted him, and he was too far away to get the rescue. It was probably safer to just take the hit there, because like cats weren't even out. So you you just take the hit, and then yeah, I don't know why he doesn't just take the hit. Cause like by using jetpack there, all you do is get to the thing faster. But you could also do the exact same thing. That's okay. You know what? That's actually just really unfortunate. That that's a that's a game changer. Cause now there's gonna be no tide. The only thing that's saving him is the first officer's extremely long chair time. Oh. Wait. Oh, she knew the timing. Okay, yeah, antiquarian could even rescue. So yeah, that the 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 the. the <laughs> <laughs> Again, bro. Oh my gosh. I would have got I wish I got to see that he just hovers away from the cat We're gonna see teleport. No blink hat was used at all. Actually. No blink was used We're almost a full presence here with the disciple once once she gets a hit here on the seer um, We're gonna see cross yep cross is set up, but Does actually not get the cross onto the seer. I'm um, gonna have to break this pallet and he is in hotel So this is actually a really good spot for them to come back from um, They already are kind of in the lead. We're gonna see oh good flyer from the seer yeah, drops the god pallet there. All right, this is this is looking good. This is looking good. He's farming up Owl. And um, he's going to take a hit here. Boop, there we go. This is now full presence and though. And now at full presence. Uh, so this is pretty dangerous. But even then, this is full kite, uh, full kite build Sierra, which is the, the, the character that they want to have uh, take the kite. Obviously, Aeroplanus has none of the uh, the base kiting abilities besides his jetpacks, which he still has one of. And boop, down goes the Seer. And the issue is he has no borrowed time. That that's gonna be the biggest thing here because if she's tunneling Seer, no borrowed time on the Seer is gonna put them at a huge uh, disadvantage. But he could farm an owl. He kited for a decent amount of time. He I, I'm gonna guess if I if I had to guess, I think his owl is probably like at least 50% charged. That was a beautiful cat actually. She knew the exact time. He got the got the cat on the antiquarian. Gonna set up cross and actually can she even rescue this? I thought, okay, uh, high key, I would have stunned, I would have stunned Anne like four times there, like many times. And she just swung twice and missed both. That's, that sucks. Um, yeah, Char they can't even rescue. They literally can't even, that's two stuffed rescues by Anne. What I would have, okay, uh, like I said, after, oh my gosh. Once Anne hit me there, once Anne hit me there, I would, oh, Charles, wait, Charles. Okay, hold on, Charles, come back. And there, the tide, okay, but the teleport, but the tide doesn't, uh, yeah, the tide's going to help him out here. That's really good. Charles coming in, knowing that the, uh, the rescue is most likely going to get stuffed. She is probably going to opt it. Yeah, pick up the antiquarian here. No, just going to chase Charles. No, there, there's, yeah, pick up the antiquarian. Okay. Yeah, the, the thing is, if I was antiquarian, once again, since Anne was standing still, I would have disarmed to get the max disarm time to guarantee the rescue. Because max disarm time is like 18 seconds. So 18 seconds, Anne can't hit me. I know I'm going to get stuffed the rescue if I don't do it, so I might as well. The cats will disable, right? Actually, I don't even know if she could have flew. I'm pretty sure she could have fluted there. I'm almost certain she could have fluted. Uh, this is actually looking like a 4K now, all because of these two stuffed rescues. Yeah, because the Seer the seer tries to come in, but now he can't. Aeroplanus is on the ground. He does still have self-heal. That, that Antiquarian missing that rescue actually changed the game. That actually changed the game. Same with Officer, honestly. Because at least if, if Charles got the tide off, she would have had to wait for First Officer, and they would have had more Cypher progress. The two stuffed rescues by the end, dude. 
And I hate to say it, but I don't even think it was necessarily Anne doing it. I think it was more survivor mistakes. Because Charles using the jetpack and then forcing himself away from the from the chair. And then Antiquarian just uh taking the early hit. Yeah, and there and there's two. Yeah. Antiquarian dies, and there are two ciphers at 60, but it's not gonna be easy. This this is the seer though. This this could be the break that they need. He does get cat it though, and she has one jump, almost has two jumps. Um if he has Owl here, he fly. He tries to. Oh, he tries to flywheel it. That's unfortunate. Oh, that sucks. And her teleport is up. Yeah. Now she chases the aeroplanist. Once aeroplanist is down, this this game is just about over. The cipher was at 90. If he just had an owl there, dude. If he just had an owl. Oh, that's it. She jumps. That's it. That's the game. That's the game, man. Oh, that's that's so unfortunate. That is so unfortunate. I mean, she played well, but I feel like I feel like. The survivors making those two crucial mistakes are what lost them the game. Seer does get back up, but there's just there's just no it's not it's not yeah. It's just not happening. His owl was actually at 90, like 95%. That's insane. That's so unfortunate. And even then he just gets stuck because yep. Yeah. Uh it, it just doesn't matter. If Aeroplanus had self-healed it, there was still a chance for a one escape, but that's it. Yep. Just emoting. Oh man, that's an unfortunate game. That really is unfortunate. Here we go, onward to round two, second half. We are going to see Embalmer, Aeroplanist, Cheerleader, and Prospector. We actually get some pretty cool uh, harassing characters in here. Uh, Priestess, Melly, Batter, and Wildling. Wildling Ben is kind of crazy. Ooh, we are gonna see Smiley. Smiley is coming out. Okay, Smiley can make a comeback here. If you're if you're gonna play if you're gonna play like a character with like wind potential on Chinatown, and if you pick like Smiley or uh, Breaking Wheel, there's a good chance you can get the 4K. But they're they're both kind of all or nothing characters. Like unless you're really good at the characters and you, and you get like a really good start, it, it's gonna be really rough. Plus the embalmer is here for safety because I'm pretty sure um, GH just needs like a tie or something, and they should be fine. Oh, this is gonna be rough. We see uh, Clown spawns at um, Hotel, Cheerleader at Lantern Gate, uh, Norton in the middle. Yeah, this is kind of interesting. I feel, I feel like uh, Embalmer usually wants to spawn Hotel so he can set up his coffin there. But he's actually gonna uh, go to Tunnel and then uh, Aeroplanes at Connected. Interesting stuff here, very interesting stuff. And here we go. It is now time. We are gonna see the Netherwalker Smiley being used. My favorite uh, Smiley skin, you love to see it, dude. Very cool skin. Are you gonna set up the dash? He's already moving from Hotel. Uh, Cyphers have already been worked on. It's, they're not doing the strategy of uh, wait until they have the ideal chase target and hide. Um, actually, maybe they are a little bit. We see Little Boy is hiding here. Little Boy, the uh, the cheerleader there. Um, you're gonna see Tinnitus, and he does not pick up on the trail. He is getting his, he, he's getting his uh, his items. We do see. Oh, cheerleader has been found out though. Okay, this this movement though. This movement though. This movement though. Yeah, just takes the hit. Just takes the hit. Um, that was really good. Uh, that was really good movement from uh, Smiley there. Cyphers are like around 30. That's not terrible. Uh, we are going to see some harassment from the processor pretty early on. Um, but ideally, he's just going to like stun maybe once or twice. Maybe try and cancel his uh, dash. Let's see. That's a big stun. That's a big stun. Actually, that's not that long. What the heck? Oh, that must have been insolence, like on the insolence path. Okay. But the, the, the support from the prospector, I mean, it's good. You're preventing the first down. But even then, even then, dude, um, is she coming around? No, where, where are they actually? Oh, there they are, there they are. Okay, decent stun, decent stun. It's not that long though, that's not a very long stun. Is he gonna body block here? He can body, wait, he body blocks because he has, oh, wait, okay, hold on, cheerleader. Again, supporting her supporter. So if you try and get Norton down, who has full kite build, by the way. He just revives himself with the cheers. Oh, but it's gone now. It's gone now. Uh, one cypher is now done. Prospector has another magnet. Not going to throw it out just yet. And he's actually on the prospector now. Here we go. He blinks. Cancel attack recovery. Oh my gosh. He did that on purpose. He did that on purpose. He wanted him to cancel attack recovery. Because by the time you hit him, the, the magnet won't be able to go off in time. Oh my gosh. And Dash is already back up. Okay, this prospector is doing really well, but at the same time, he did cancel the, the rocket recovery. Which, rocket recovery does not have that much attack recovery, but it's at least like a second, right? Um, wait, the support is here. Okay, okay. Embalmer's actually just here to body block. What? I feel like you could, you have, you could embalm him. 
Uh, but he's all the way over there, so maybe not. And Bomber would have to get off his Cypher if he wants to do that. Um, and yeah, Prospector, I guess, was there to provide support so he could also take the kite. Doing a great job, but also at half health. And are we? he's changing targets again. He's actually going to change targets again. This gives the Prospector a good opportunity to not only heal, but recharge both Flywheel and his Magnets. And Cheerleader has all her stuff recharged. She has two beep beeps, a Flywheel, and the Coffin was put back up somewhere else. This is actually looking pretty good for the survivors. I, th I feel like the Clown had a good lead, but just didn't commit. He has to commit. Yeah, he sees the Prospector once again, but there is no blink this time. Cancels the dash, but he comes back with him and down he goes. That was another mistake from the Prospector. They are just gonna embalm him all the way over there. They know that Smiley has no trait right now because he used blink. Um, and if he trade stops, he's gonna have to go immediately all the way over there. That is very far. That is very, very far. But yeah, they, they, we did see the Embalmer play. That's the only coffin of the game so far right now. Um, no Magnet yet, but his Flywheel is charged up. And his Magnet actually is about to have one Magnet to work with. Um, the movement, the movement, the movement! The movement! Oh my gosh. So they actually, oh wait, they need a four, they actually need a 4k uh, here. The Smiley needs a 4k and they're, they're playing for just a one escape. That's, that's, I just, I just saw that right there where it says the win condition. That's unfortunate that they, he needs to get a 4k. And it's just not looking like it. The Cyphers are all climbing. The Embalmer will actually go down here. But since this is just the Embalmer's first chair, when he gets rescued, he'll have a coffin. And literally, Embalmer is one of the best characters to pick when you need at least one person at the gate. Because, like, it, it, he's basically, he's just extremely safe. Like, with that with that Prospector, nobody had to get off their Cypher and rescue. Um, and he ba it's like, it just prevents the down and prevents the rescue. So it's like, it wastes it's so little time for the survivors. And Bomber is just such a solid character. We do see that Airplane is here. We're going to see the only use of Tide on the team. Um, but yeah, this this teamwork is just too good, dude. It's just, it's just too much. The Cypher is primed. And he does hit the uh, Embalmer here. But he can coffin himself because he hasn't used the coffin on himself yet. And it's only been his first chair. Um, and he does have borrowed time. They're not going to... Are they going to pop? No, they're going to coffin. Okay. Oh, they're gonna. Okay, because yeah, if they use the coffin now, it'd be endgame. So I wonder how they do this now. They just okay. They pop once he has the once the bubble. Okay, so that that's 15 seconds. He's gonna have to stay on a bomber, and he opts to just teleport, which gives a bomber the free escape. That was smart because you. Okay, unfortunate. Did not did not get the uh, did not get the magnet. But even then, 1k is just not enough. It is not enough. Not enough in the slightest. Oh man, and no no detention either. It's trump card insolence, so no detention at all. This this team was just too good. Prospector, Aeroplane, Cheerleader, and Bomber. This this team this team is like never getting 4K'd, bro. This is such a good team. It's such a good team. And they're and they're here, dude. They're actually just here. Cheerleader is here. Why are they actually There's no way they're gonna go for a four-person escape, right? Oh, well, um, they're definitely not going to now. Uh, Prospector is actually dead on chair. Um, I'm pretty sure they only need one person to escape, right? Yeah. Yeah, if they get one out the gate, they still win. So I don't, I don't know. I guess they're just trying to, like, play for a better score, maybe. Um, because again, if they get one person out, it's fine anyway. So it's just like, hey, let's just go one person or four person. Why not? Why not? Look at that. Sure, even crawling to the gate. That's so funny. They're just, they're taking their sweet time. They're taking their sweet time. They, they won. They won. They won. Look at them playing around. Look at that. Sure, they're just like, boop, but a boop, boop, but a boop. <laughs> oh, that's goofy. All right. Well, there we go. Oh, that's the set. That is the set. Unfortunate for the smiley. Uh, was unable to get the 4K that he needed. But that was a good game regardless. A good set. Um, even though only one, one character or one hunter I would consider to be like super hype. Uh, that being of course smiley face. But yeah, that was a good set though. That, that was a solid set. And yeah, everybody, that is going to be it for today. We're going to be back with more Koa and whatnot, but this is a bit of a, a shorter one. We'll probably look at like two sets in the, uh, the next video, but we had the four Silage events. So I wanted to, uh, wrap that up, do one quick set and there we go. So yeah, that's going to be it for today. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I'll see you all later. I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.